What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today's reaction video is why American and European trucks are so different. I wonder why. I wonder why. I don't know if they are that different, are they? I can't think of a difference. I'm trying to rattle through my head. And when we say trucks, I'm assuming, before we get into the video, that mm. we're talking lorries. Yeah. So I'm, for like... I'm thinking like trucks, you know, like you see on the motorway on the side or like... The side. A lorry or something like going, in, taking stuff like Asda, yeah. food and stuff like that or de uh, deliveries um, is what I'm assuming. Yeah, I'd say that would class as a truck. It'd be interesting because uh, it may be like maybe a 4x4 four four or something, but I think it might be a lorry. Uh, you guys call them trucks, I believe. I'm guessing maybe as a... Not as comfy. I, maybe American ones are more kitted out because it's longer. That's what I mean, because US is bigger, isn't it? Maybe longer to go. But obviously, then they do travel between Europe, don't they? Mm -hmm. So I don't know. I feel like this intro was pointless because I've mm -hmm. actually got no clue. We don't even know what we're talking about. Nope. Smash that button if you enjoyed it, guys. Smash that subscribe button. We'd seriously appreciate it. We've plugged it in a little bit, but go and check our movie reactions out. The Goonies should be back up, fingers crossed. We've gone for a new method, and I think it hopefully will stay up for a little bit of time. So if you want to check it out, go and check it out now. Full reaction of Shawshank and Goonies is on Patreon, isn't yeah. it? So go and check that out as well. We'd seriously appreciate it. Shawshank, before this weekend, I can guarantee you that. But we are getting there. Because when I when I say before this weekend, that includes the weekend as well. Before so before Sunday night. Yeah, before Sunday night. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm working. It. There's only one of me. Uh, but just a little plug there. But the full reaction is on yeah, Patreon already. Right. But the edited version will be on the channel before Sunday. Smash the like button, guys. Smash the subscribe button. If you're a truck driver, whether it's a lorry driver or just a 4x4 driver or just love like caravan road trips, let us know in the comments. This video <laughs> might be for you. We don't know actually which one it's for yet. We don't know what we're talking about We yet. think it's for lorries. <laughs> oh, it's such a mess <laughs> intro. Are you ready? Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> Why European and American lorries. trucks are so different. That looks like a lorry. Yeah. American and European semi trucks are very different. American America, on the right? You see yeah. all the trucks with a long nose and wheelbase with the cabin behind the engine. Whereas trucks in Europe are cab over trucks where the cabin is above the engine. Okay. But why are they so different and what are the advantages and disadvantages? Let's take a look at it. Livable. One of the reasons why the American trucks have bigger cabs is that owner-operators are very common in the US and not so much in Europe. Oh wow, These people that's proper kid. trucks and pretty much live that's in fancy. them for months at a time. They live in them. Because they spend so much time and some have to live in the cabin, these cabins are quite a bit larger and have more features in the cabin, such as a fridge, microwave, freezer, wardrobe, large bed, windows, and some even have their own toilet. Wow, that's actually pretty sick. Mm, that is sick, actually. Like, I, I don't think I could ever be a lorry driver. I just I don't, don't think I've got the patience. Uh, it's, it takes a lot of you know, I mean, patience and skill to do. But that would tempt me a little bit. It's like camper van, isn't it? A little bit like a camper van. Um, but then obviously you got to have sacrifices like missing your family and stuff. Mm. But it's got my microwave. I could do popcorn every night. I could be driving, eating my butter popcorn. You wouldn't be able to go in the back and make the popcorn while you're driving, though. Yeah, I'd pull over, make popcorn, three minutes, get my combo away, eat my popcorn while I go. I'd love it. <laughs> Owners modify TVs. their trucks to include huge <laughs> living compartments. That's something sick. not so common in Europe. It is, of course, also possible to spend several days in a truck with a cab over, but the comfort is just not nearly as high. Long, wide roads. Much of an American truck's life is spent on the interstate system, yeah. where the okay. lanes are wide and the roads are straight. For that reason, the long wheelbase of the truck is acceptable and typically makes the ride much more comfortable. Oh, that is very long. Considering they are allowed to drive up to 12 hours every 24 hours, whereas European truckers hours. can only drive 9 hours, that extra comfort is important. Definitely. European semi trucks are lighter and have shorter wheelbases, which makes them significantly easier to maneuver. Essentially, they are more compact and easier to work with in traffic and urban environments, which is perfect for the narrow roads in Europe. Yeah, that makes also, sense. Also, mm -hmm. the cab over has a better overview and less blind spots, which increase safety noticeably, where the larger bonnets and A pillars on the American trucks make it difficult for drivers to get a clear view of traffic. Okay. I like that metallic red. Yo, I do the like the like, defined front to it, to be fair. regulations in Europe make for different trucks. For starters, a European semi-truck can only be 18.75 meters or about 61 feet. 
Some countries have some exceptions, but generally that is the rule. Because of these restrictions, European trucks have to be as short as possible so they can tow more cargo. Okay. Considering American cabs can be 20 feet long, that only leaves 40 feet of room for cargo. So, in order to make more room for cargo, the cab has to be as short as possible. That makes sense then. Mm -hmm. But then you miss Similar out on a microwave. in the US yeah. have been Just revoked back in 1986, and trucks now can be much longer. Actually, back in the day, cab over trucks were quite popular in the US. Oh. But without strict limitations, roomier and more convenient to live with conventional design trucks prevailed. I suppose speed and are cheaper as well. Yeah. I, I let us know in the comments if I was right. I'd guess the cab ones are cheaper because there's less of it. Yeah. So back in the I day. So. But people go in comfort nowadays, aren't yeah, they, Mark? Definitely. If you can afford it. A big difference between the European semi-trucks and American ones is that in Europe, the speed is limited to 90 kilometers per hour. But in some places oh, okay. in the US, trucks are allowed to reach 129 and even 137 kilometers you per can, hour. You can do 70 in the UK, can't you? Not on trucks. Oh, There's wow. Long Never knew that. Roads, I think it's 50. Speed, the is better it? aerodynamics and longer wheelbase is a clear advantage for the long-nosed trucks, which are created for the long trips. Yeah, straight roads. Yeah. Conclusion. So, the reason why there is such a like big that. difference between trucks in Europe compared to America is that they are used in different ways. There are different rules that must be Just observed, both in terms of speed, driving time, lengths, weight, etc. And that there is a big difference between roads and the infrastructure. Yeah. So, one is not necessarily better than the Do other, like but that. they are adapted to the needs of truck owners. I feel like this is probably one of the men, like the only comparison videos we've done yeah. between America and Europe where it's not been like negative things. Do you know what I mean? Like yeah, I they're both good for their own countries. Definitely. I mean, I've, I always say this in our reactions anyway. When we call it weird, it's when we different. call it strange, it's because it is different to us. But like they both make sense for their country. Definitely, it's like, what you what you raise with. I imagine American truck drivers going, you don't have a microwave? Maybe yeah. not, but you know what I mean? But then like, we'd be like, well, we don't need You them. have a microwave? Yeah. <laughs> it's... it's just whatever you, you need, I suppose, necessities one, isn't it? And then what yeah. you're used to. Uh, but I, I'm with you on that. As far as like the designs on the front, it makes sense and the speeds and things like that because it's what works in the country. Definitely, there's 12 seconds left. We'll see if there's any bit more to it. Driver and the government requirements. I do like that. Front Which though. is your favorite? Yeah. Thanks for watching, and remember to subscribe like for much more. The more defined look on the front, the American ones yeah, definitely it looks look smarter. Cooler. It does definitely, and the longer as well, which yeah. is just a bit more badass. <laughs> <laughs> Smash that button if you enjoyed it, guys. Smash that subscribe button as well. A bit of a random one. Random, but I kind of liked it. I enjoyed it as well. A short and sweet one. It was suggested to us, so so yeah, you know what? We'll, we'll give it a go. Um, we always like to do a short one as well because we're normally super busy. So if we can get a short one in, it means you guys get more content, uh, especially if we're in a rush. Yeah. Let us know if you want us to do more videos like this. If not, let us know. Yeah. Smash that button, guys. Smash that subscribe button. Like I said, go check our movie reaction channel out. We'd really appreciate it. And we'll see you Have a fantastic day. And we'll see you, legends, in the next one. Peace.